Today in this tutorial, I'll show you how we can make these amazing auto sliding images in your Elementor website. So you can see these sliding images on the left and right side. And when we hover over on that, it also stops moving and on mouse out, it again start moving. Okay. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make that. So inside this page, after this content, I will add our this image sliding effect. But here if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this image sliding effect as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get four different versions of this effect. So after downloading this, you will get a zip file like that. And after unzipping that, you will get the both version for the container and the old non-container users. And inside each of these, we can see all of these four different versions. So for example, if I choose this one and we can see the JSON file. So we just need to go to this template upload option and drag this JSON file to here. Here is this one. Let's insert this. And after saving this, if we see it from our preview, we can see it's working really perfect. And if you also want to check this from the tablet and the mobile devices, we can see it's looking really great. Okay, now as I want to create it from scratch, so I want to delete our this image sliding container. That's basically this one. So let's delete this. And now we can only see this content. Let's drag a container after that. So basically we need to drag it after our this container here. And inside this container, we will create our these two image rows. So for the first row, let's take an, another container inside that. Let's drag it to here. And inside that, we need to add some images. So let's drag it to here and upload an image. From the style, let's also give it a height and width make it to 300 pixel and also make the same height make the object fit to the cover to show the image perfectly and after that here i also want to add some other images but before that first we need to check its responsiveness for the tablet and the mobile devices because if i first make it responsive and then duplicate then the responsive design is also duplicated to the other images okay so for the tablet i will make it to 200 pixel height and width and let's go to the mobile here i want to make it further more small 150 pixel now let's go back to the desktop again and simply just duplicate this image and upload an, another one and do the same for the other images so i've added couple more images now i want to place them all horizontally one after another so let's go to this container settings and we need to make its direction to the row but we can see the width has been reduced for all of these images so to fix this we need to enable this tab option okay and you can now see it on multiple lines don't worry about that we'll also fix that but before that here first of all we need to make this container to full width so first go to our this container and make it to the full width okay but here we can see some padding so make it to zero and do the same thing for our this inner container make it to full width and make the padding to the zero now finally to achieve our this scrolling effect first we need to add a class with our this parent container so here let's add jr dash scrolling dash image and then we also need to add some custom css here and if you don't know, this custom CSS option is only available in Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Let's paste this. And here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I'll also give that code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that code. Okay, so now here you probably see after pasting this code, this section has been disappeared. But don't worry, if we see it from our actual preview, we can see it perfectly, okay? Now after that, another thing we need to do, we need to also add some JavaScript code snippet. So let's drag an another HTML widget. 
Okay, so basically I want to drag it inside our this container here and paste this JavaScript code. Now if we save this and from our this preview, now we can see this image effect is perfectly working. And also here we can see all the images in one line. Now if you go back to again our this container and go to this custom CSS, here at the top we can see some cool option for our this effect. So first we can see this direction option, we can make it 1 or minus 1. So instead of this left side, if we want to make this animation on the right side, we can make it 2 minus 1. And then from the speed option, we can also control the speed of this animation. And then when we also hover on these images, we can see it pauses on hover. So if you also want to disable this option, you can do it from this pause on hover option and also for the mobile device. Also here is image aspect ratio option. So if you make it true, now we can see these images on their actual aspect ratio. So I want to go back here and make it to again false. Now after that here I also want to create an another row of images. So just duplicate our this container here and inside that I want to add some other images. So we have added these four images here and from the preview here we can also see these four images on the right side. We can see these four images are automatically duplicated to fill up our this screen. Okay, so if you use few images, this code snippet will automatically fill up this remaining empty space. That's really cool, right? So now here you can see these two row of images goes to the same direction. Now for our this second line, I want to move this to the right side. So previously we can see here inside our this code snippet and the top we have used these options and you can also use these options specifically for any of these inner containers. So I want to just copy this and for our this second container here I want to just paste it to here and for this one instead of 1 I want to make it to minus 1 and I also don't want to change any of these values so delete this. Okay now we can see it slides in two different directions. Now finally let's check this on the tablet and mobile device. So on tablet we can see it looks okay and on mobile it looks also okay but here I want to reduce the gap between them. So I can go to here and from the mobile device. Here for the container we need to reduce the gap to 10 pixel and also do the same for this one. Okay that looks good. And also let's reduce this horizontal gap. So this gap is basically comes from this parent containers gap. Also let's make it to 10 pixel. Now that looks perfect. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.